If your extension uses content scripts or needs access to pages your users have open, this one's for you. We're rolling out an experimental new extensions menu in Chrome, giving users more control over when and how extensions run on their pages. This aims to make it easier for users to discover and change what access extensions have. Now, nothing is changing about the permissions extensions are granted at install time. However, if a user has made explicit changes after install, such as setting your extension to run on click, your extension won't immediately run on a page. Let's take a closer look, and I'll tell you about a new API that you might want to adopt to prepare for the new menu. So why are we making these changes? We want to give users more control over when extensions can run. That keeps users safe and builds the trust in the extensions ecosystem that we all rely on. Now, we also know that keeping onboarding simple is really important. So keeping that in mind while moving the platform forward was a big focus of this work. Let's take a look at our current design for the new menu. Now, keep in mind that we're still experimenting and making changes. None of the UI here is final, and it might be different by the time you try it out. In the old extensions menu, changing when an extension can run required a user to go deep into multiple levels of menus. Now, there's a simple toggle. In user research, we saw this was much more widely understood. Turning it off prevents that extension from running on a page. Users can still access more options, like setting an extension to run on click if needed. Now, some users didn't want to run any extensions on a given site. Previously, this wasn't an option, but with the new menu, you can click the toggle in the header and no user installed extensions will run on this site going forward. You can try all of these changes out in the browser today. Enable the extensions menu access control flag at chrome colon slash slash flags. In the future, this won't be needed, but it means you can try things sooner. Remember that everything is experimental. That's the purpose of shipping something behind a flag, and we plan to iterate based on feedback. As mentioned, we're not changing any defaults. That said, we expect more users to make changes to the access extensions have. In some cases, extensions need access to a site to be able to work properly. With that in mind, we've added a new add host access request API that you can use to request access from a user when your extension might be relevant. We worked on this API with other browsers in the web extensions community group who contributed significantly to the overall design. The goal is for this to be a cross-browser API that shows relevant UI decided on by the user agent. So when would you use this? Let's say, for example, that you're building a shopping extension. When a user lands on a checkout page, you'd like to offer them a discount, but you need more access to the page to do so, and the user's preferences don't give you that by default. In this situation, you can call the add host access request API to show an access request in the toolbar. Now, this is similar to permissions.request, but doesn't take focus and is less intrusive to the user. In Chrome, requests are bound to a specific tab and are cleared when a user navigates to a different origin. They look like this. You can call this API at any time. However, you should still be mindful about when you ask to show a request and not show them too often. Requests may be throttled by the browser and users can turn them off for an extension if they want to. Perhaps you added a request and you'd like to remove it. There's a matching remove host access request API for that. These APIs are available starting in Chrome 132. It only has an effect for users with the new menu and isn't supported by other browsers just yet. But with feature detection, you can safely start using them today. Just check to see if the API exists before you call it. So that's the new menu and the new add host access request API that you can use to prepare your extension. If you're building an extension that might be impacted by these changes, definitely try out the new menu. Also consider adopting the new API, which is ready to use today. You can learn more in the blog linked here and keep up to date with extension news in general at developer.chrome.com. Until next time.